So, hello everyone. Um, in this video we're going to be in the Caltime area. And we only have one encounter here, Prophetic Ravings. And it's going to be against Romaz, who we've managed to track down finally. Um, he's got a custom deck, so it's like the final boss of the campaign. Creature size is 5 stars, deck speed 5 stars, flexibility 5, card synergy 5. So it's going to be an overpowered deck. Um, the decks I'd recommend that you would have unlocked at this stage of the game Sliverhive or uh, Chant of the Moldea, something like that. So I'm going to go with Sliverhive because I haven't unlocked it very much, I haven't played it very much. And it's quite fun, so we're going to use that. So the interesting thing about this is we get Chandra as an ally. So it's actually going to be a 2v1 against Romance. Now I'm looking at the starting hand. It's not bad, we've got plenty of land. Land of each type, we've only got one sliver. I'm actually going to go for a new draw. Okay, this is better. Limited on land, but we've got a sliver here, and we've got three artifacts that was colorless mana, so we can play those. Yeah, we'll keep this one. And we have a green land, so if I draw like a cultivate or a rampant growth, I'll be able to play it. Or for cultivate, I'll need another land, obviously. So anyway, we're going to start on 30 life. Combined, me and Chandra. He's going to start with 40. So he's starting out with Exploration. It's one forest, and he can play an additional land on each of his turns. And we've drawn the missing land that we needed, so I've got a land of all colours. So that's good. So I'm actually going to play the Striking Sliver first. And he's going to ramp up his lands pretty quickly. And he's going to harmonize, draw three cards. So now we're going to play Predatory Sliver. He will buff my Striking Sliver. And we're going to get some early attacks in. Now the reason I actually like playing slivers against this guy is because he's red, green, and blue. So he doesn't really have that many sort of wipe the board type spells. I mean red has some, but they're going to be expensive. And hopefully by the time he gets them my slivers will be buffed up enough to survive. So now he's going to play Flame Slash to kill my predatory sliver, which is unfortunate. Uh, and he's also going to bring out Master of the Wild Hunt which uh, spawns a wolf every turn, is in pack instinct on the old game. So this is a pretty good creature. What I'm hoping Chandra will do is not do that. I was hoping she'd wait for me to attack, and then just put her flame to do it. But, you know, that's good too. She, she uses a searing spear. At least she's doing something. She's getting us life with this artifact. So I can see I've drawn a battle sliver, which will be good, but I don't have the mana for it. So right now I'm just going to play a Sliver Construct and I'll be able to get in one damage. So he has a card called Mad Prophet Taste and he can tap it to discard a card and draw a card. And luckily I've drawn my red land here. So I'm able to bring out the battle slower. So this goes well with the first strike slower. Because if he blocks now, 
He's going to die because all my servers have first strike. And my cards will survive. Let's see what Chandra does. So, Pillar of Flame to kill it. He didn't want to use the ability. And she's going to bring out the Firewing Phoenix. Looks like she has Disintegrate as well, so... And lots of land to use it with. So if I can get in a lot of damage next turn, he's going to be really in trouble. Ah, oh, but here we go, Earthquake. So, he's already got the mana up pretty quickly, he's able to wipe my slivers off the field. So I'm just going to bring out two new ones. No effects, unfortunately. And you'll notice that the Firewing Phoenix survives because it uh, deals damage to each creature without flying at each player. She's also got Cone of Flame in her hand now. I'm not a fan of that card, but maybe it'll be useful at some point. So he's going to bring out Desperate Ravings, draw two cards, then discard a card at random. And it has Flashback for three mana. And what Flashback does is you, it means you can cast it from the graveyard, paying the Flashback cost. So we have Hive Stirrings. I don't want to play it yet. I'm worried about another board wipe, and I want to get some slivers that have buffs on them before I play these. It's always good to keep something back in my hand in case someone wipes the board. So we're going to get a lot of damage again. Shandra's going to play the Pilgrim's Eye to dig out another land from her deck. So next turn she can deal um, Six damage with disintegrate. Now he's going to kill the firing phoenix. And put two target lands on top of the owner's libraries. So, what I'm hoping Shandra will do, pay the cost here. Now, she should have done that before the land came out. She could have paid the cost to bring the phoenix back, but she didn't do it. And as you can see, he did wipe the board again. So I have these as backup, which I kept. So we've still got this disintegrate in hand. She's going to use it right now to deal six damage. So he's got another way well, to play this using the flashback cost. And he has Flame Slash. I don't know why he used it on that. Personally, I'd have used it on these ones. The slivers, because they can be buffed. But Chandra has Lava Axe. So I don't feel like Chandra played very well, but she did win me the game. So I was kind of a passenger there. <laughs> uh, I've unlocked a card. It's a nice card. Double strike for Slivers. Slivers good. Um, and normally you'd see a cutscene here. Instead, we get the credits. Um, if you do want me to upload the cutscene, uh, say so in the comments and I can do so. 
uh, in the next video we'll be playing this new revenge campaign that we unlocked. So we get to face off against some of the people we've beaten before, Sigismund, Garanda, uh, Esneric, or Esnelic, sorry, uh, Krufa, Zorislav, and then we get some new players. These are from the 2013 version as well. Garrick Wildspeaker, Jay Spellerin, Shandrin Millar, Johnny Goldmane, Liliana Bess, and we get to play Romaz again at the end. So, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see these matches. Uh, thanks for watching.